achieving Agenda 12, 13, 16, 17, and of course, uh, 17, the cooperation of stakeholders, partnering together on land tenure systems, uh, what is happening with the conflicts, the climate change, uh, quite a number of new emerging challenges we have in Africa concerning land grabbing and things like that. And majorly, uh, I've been in and around land policy, urban design for almost 50 years. So uh, with what is happening now is like a, with this outing, we have become a, is a game changer and there's a kind of paradigm shift, you know. Um, the challenges we have is that we still have insufficient data. I remember about 45 years ago, when we were in the school of uh, in geography class or survey, uh, you do the questionnaires, you take it to the field, you do the analysis, the regression analysis, SPSS, but it's getting increasingly difficult to do things like that now. But more importantly, when we have interventions like this one we have, even though it's once in two years, I still want to praise them because it brings to the front burner uh, challenges we're having, how we are trying to ameliorate it, mitigation, and bringing all the brains to it. It's like a melting pot, ideas and uh, we share ideas and share prosperity. And that's the only way we can share prosperity, too. If you look at the, all the continents, vast arable land is still in Africa. And we are in the forest still looking for firewood. Um, I'm happy with this kind of outing, the sustainability of it. And, is, and I hope it's going to be, we can walk the talk. Because we have all the laws and policies are there, Malabo Declaration, um, Maputo for Child Rights Act, because the receiving end of all these challenges are women and girls. They are the receiving end. And if we care for, as a traditional authority, we are fully at the grassroots level. So when we judge you, it takes so much pressure out of us than World War. Uh, and look at the title of the uh, conference, Dynamics. Dynamics is changing. It is static. So we have to be progressive. So all these land tenancies, all what we are saying is that we have to accelerate it. We have to be inclusive to make it, to have a human face and of course, we can always make sure that it adds all the holistic things that everybody is all involved. That's the only way about it. Somebody said, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. So these are some of the things we need to emphasize and to internalize. And before you know it, if you don't do it now, who's going to do it? And if not now, when? So I really praise this collaborative efforts of the UN, ECA, African Union, uh, Oxfam, all of these donate people who are the Swedish government, uh, with their also interventions everywhere, spotlight initiatives and everything. So uh, it's a win-win for all of us, and uh, we shall get there. Uh, they say a thousand miles journey start with the first step. So by the time we do all of these things, it's coming to, to bear that, yes, we're on the right path. And God bless Africa. God bless the, everybody that has been here, and I pray everybody has journey masses back to their destination. I've learned a lot, even at over 70, I'm still learning. There can't be a better school to learn more about 
reinventing and re-energizing and new things coming up. The, what they are learning now is, we never learned 50 years ago when we were doing geography in the undergraduate years. So it's a good lesson for me. It's a good, great outing. I love it.